I'm Pete McCall, and welcome to episode 70 of All About Fitness. On episode 70, I'm doing a quick fit tip, and today I want to talk a little bit about a couple things, a couple points of fitness that aren't necessarily exercise related. Now, fitness can mean a number of different things. To me, fitness means having a high quality of life. You know, when it comes to fitness in an exercise standpoint, my personal definition of fitness is having the ability to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Now, most of the time, I mean that from a physical standpoint, meaning you have the strength, you have the cardiorespiratory ability, the, the, the ability to have energy, you have the mobility, you're pain-free, you can move. Most of the time when I talk about fitness, I'm talking about it in context of exercise, and that's how most of us think about it. But what about other components of fitness? You know, what about financial fitness? Do you think about it in terms of that way? Because we have to flex our financial muscles too, right? We have to have saved money. We have to be smart. Because in my mind, financial fitness is having freedom. Freedom means you have resources. And now I'm not all about the money. I'm not going to be one. I, I don't, I am not about status. Let me put it that way. I don't buy the newest cars. I don't buy, I buy all my cars used. You know, I try to find, you know, clothes on sale. I don't, I'm not about status, but I am about security. I am about financial freedom. You know, one of my hobbies is investing. You know, I, when I went to college, my undergrad degree was actually in economics and government. So over the years, I've, you know, studied, you know, investing. And that is just, you know, to me, that's an important component of being fit. It's not only the ability to move physically, but it's the ability to have options financially as well. Another thing about being fit is state of mind. You know, let's think about when we travel. Do you think about your fitness program when we travel? You know, I'm, I'm an educator and I work with a couple different companies and it's truly an honor. I've, you know, just, you know, in the last number of months, I've been, where have I been? I've been in Taiwan. I've been in Hong Kong. I've been in Singapore. I've been in Mexico City, Moscow, Russia, as well as a number of cities in the U.S., including Boston, Chicago, Washington, D.C. The point is, part of my job is to travel out and teach workshops to other fitness professionals. So I spend a significant amount of time on the road. And in my mind, fitness is that thought process of planning ahead. You know, a lot of times if I'm doing a conference or something, I don't really have a chance to choose the hotel. I'm, I'm just going to the conference hotel. But if I'm traveling on my own, if I'm doing a workshop for somebody you know, as a consultant or traveling on a consulting trip, I always pick hotels that, that have fitness centers. You know, and, and I don't know if you do the same thing. To me, I, you know, I don't care if it's a little bit further away or a little bit more inconvenient, but I'll pick a better, you know, a hotel with a better fitness center over one that, that doesn't have one. I also think about what restaurants am I going to go to? That's a fitness state of mind as well. Because you got to think about, you know, and those of us that travel, I'm sure we already do that. I'm sure you already have strategies for that. But if you are just starting a workout program, if you are starting to try to make exercise a habit, Fitness isn't just about exercise. Fitness applies to all aspects of our life. You know, if you travel, plan. How do you plan activity into your travel? Do you take frequent, you know, movement breaks? You know, if I do an Asia trip, I'm trying to get up and move in the airplane every couple hours so to keep from getting too stagnant, too static, or molded into the seat. You know, I try to take opportunities to get up and move anytime I'm in meetings for more than, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. I'm that guy that gets up in a meeting and stands in the back of the room because I have to stand up. You know, when I go out to dinner, and I'm not, you know, if you've heard me talk with a couple of the dietitians, you know, the registered dietitian nutritionists I've had on the program, I'm not one of these sticklers. You don't have to eat this way, but I do try to make healthy choices when I travel. So fitness is having that state of mind that you look for the healthier option when you go out to restaurants. There's a huge difference. Sometimes when you travel, you know what? You don't have many options. You get to town 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. Sometimes the only thing open is a fast food place. But fitness is that state of mind that sometimes you you try to choose the least unhealthy option. So I just wanted to get you thinking about a couple different things about fitness. Because fitness, folks, my definition of fitness, fitness is freedom. Fitness is having options. Fitness is having opportunities in your life. You know, so when you, you know, when you're in your daily routine, when you have your daily habits, you know when you have your fitness plan, your exercise plan. But fitness is also that mindset to think, how can I get a little more activity in my day? You've heard my guest Fabio Camana before talk about the role that activity plays. That if we want to burn more calories, we need to be more active. Fitness is that state of mind that you're thinking about those things. Fitness is that state of mind of thinking about your whole life. 
How financially fit are you? How much freedom do you have financially? Are you paying off debt? Or do you have some savings? You know, what's your fitness frame of mind when you travel? Are you looking for fitness options when you travel? Do you plan vacations? Do you plan trips thinking about where can I work out? You know, one of the things I love to do is visit different gyms, try out different studios. You know, I have a lot of friends that work in fitness. so I'm usually visiting places where I know. And that's always fun to me. It's fun to see different environments and see how people do that. Fitness is that state of mind where you're thinking about restaurants. You're thinking about healthy options. You don't always need to have the healthiest option, but make that choice when you can. Because here's the thing, you know, we pay for unhealthy choices. You know, we pay for it if we're in debt. We're paid for it if we're stuck in the same position all day in an airplane. We pay for it if we don't make time to exercise if we're on a work trip. Or if we, you know, don't get a chance to, to hit the gym on, on a regular basis. So on this quick fit tip, I want you to think about other areas of your life that you can make more fit. What are some other areas in your life that you can change to create more opportunities, to create more freedom? If you want to make some healthy changes in your life, start thinking about that fitness mindset. Think about fitness in terms of more activity. Think about fitness in terms of choices. Think about fitness as freedom. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Pete McCall. This has been a quick fit tip. If you want to hear a question answered on a future episode of a quick fit tip, please email them to me at Pete. That's Pete at PeteMcCallFitness.com. You can also send them to me via Twitter. And my Twitter handle is Pete. MC underscore fitness, or you can tag me on Instagram. If you want to send a quick video or link to anything on me, you can find me on Instagram, Pete McCall, M-C-C-A-L-L underscore fitness on Instagram. And obviously, finally, my website is PeteMcCallFitness.com. Have a great day, and I look forward to having you stop by for future episodes. Take care.